I just finished another rebind. This one's for my mom. And it is a brown goat skin. And uh, it, it has a lot of grain to it. So uh, this was, this is the New American Standard Inductive Study Bible. And we got a uh, sort of a tan lambskin liner here. I put brown end pages on there. I'm also doing one for my stepdad. That's gonna be just like this one, except the liner's gonna be a dark brown as well. So here's my top left corner. Here's my bottom left corner. I think the corners are pretty good on here. And then this was a hardback, so the paper is, there's no gold gilting and it is uh, square cut. The one thing that's really nice about this Bible, the, the way they designed it, is this is a uh, gutter column reference or a gutter reference system. So uh, your text is here. It doesn't pour into, it doesn't spill into the gutter for your main text. So if something's going to spill into the gutter, it's your references. And I like that. You have extra room to write out here. So this is a good Bible. Here are my, my corner work on the bottom right and then the top right. There we go. And I think the, the, uh, the corner work is pretty good on here. I didn't try to get aggressive with the, the number of pleats. You know, I did press it down so it doesn't really stick out. It doesn't bulge around, around the corners. So I like that. I think that's good work. That, that's one thing that I, uh, I'm happy about. That there's no bulge here with the pleats. So I'm happy with that. And uh, so this is ready to go back to her. We've got uh, four double satin brown ribbons. Okay, four of those. Um, there's the brown end page, the silk moire end page. That's on there pretty good. And uh, the gold gilt is uh, just about perfect except for right here. There's, you can see where I did the corners separately from the long lines, but the rest of them are pretty good, pretty good work. So you, you can't even tell that I, well, maybe, maybe right here where it's a little bit thick, but you can almost not even tell that the uh, corners were done separately from the rest of the, the uh, gut line there. So, um, my stamp here is, I just noticed that it's starting to crack a little bit. I don't know why that's happening, but uh, I got a really, got this stamp really nice. And then, so I had to stamp it actually, uh, at first I did a blind stamp at uh, 215 degrees and that's really hot for this. But then I lowered it down to, I mean, uh, to 125 before I did the gold stamp. And that's supposed to be the correct temperature for this gold. And I, I stamped it and looked and I saw a spot. I stamped it again and again and did about five times until I thought it was really good. And I, but now it's starting to crack a little bit. So I don't know why that is, but I'll uh, try to keep on working on it to figure it out in the future. But the tooling is really good on here, or at least for me, it's really good. Um, you don't see any deep grooves or uh, any, anything sort of messed up at that corner. The edge crease looks good. It's a thin and floppy um, combo here with the, the goat skin and the lamb skin. And I think she's really going to enjoy that. And um, it's just a nice, nice Bible. You can tell that it, it needs to be... Um, Used to go in the wrap, so the so we can train the yap down. It's got a pretty good yap, and I thought that would be desirable since there's no gold underneath. And uh, if we get this yap trained down, then you know, the fact that there's no um, there's no gold page edging page edges here 
wouldn't be so bad. It wouldn't be so big a deal. Um, but yeah, let's see how far we get here. Okay, that's how far we get. All right, so this is ready to go home to mom. I hope she likes it. Uh, I know she's been studying in this Bible and going through uh, stuff with her church and following studies online. And so I'm just really hoping she enjoys it. And uh, I did not, uh, I didn't print the name on the front cover because I'm hoping to get some smaller letters so I can print somebody's name here and it not just be the same, the same size as that Holy Bible. The one thing I don't want is an enormous name across the bottom. Uh, so what I have been doing is putting the big name across the inside here. But, uh, but the plan is to get some smaller letters. Um, this Holy Bible, that Holy Bible, that NASB, that is uh, 0.6 centimeters tall. So I'm hoping maybe I can get a set that is about half that and, uh, and put it down at the bottom there. Anyway, that is it. We got the five hubs, one, two, three, four, five, and they all look really good. So proud of this. I know she's gonna be happy with it. And uh, this should last a long, long time. And uh, you get lots of time of studying it. So love you, mom. Merry Christmas. And everybody else, have a great day.